I even acted more like a stud than I ever had, like normally. I was getting ready to go out. She was like, where the hell are you going? Look at you like a whole ass nigga. And I just got up in her face and I was like, nigga, we just. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no click back. This is going to be a half ASMR, y'all, because there's too much noise going on just in the next apartment. This is about to be so good. Lemon garlic. It's not fettuccine noodles. Egg noodles. Oh, I can't. Got to wear the mic. Hot mess, y'all. All right. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm gonna try it one more time, y'all. I feel like I'm not getting the noodles. First of all, I need to master uh, picking up noodles with chopsticks. This is not it. Okay. How the fuck do y'all do this? Okay, let me try it. Okay. Babe. Huh? Can you give me a fork? Never mind. Let me just take this shit off. It don't matter. This shit ain't working. It's still going to be a video though. All right, y'all. I tried. What I'm going to do is tell y'all a little story about... I'm going to tell y'all a story about... I, don't, I never considered myself a femme. Feminine. I mean, not like... You know, the standard feminine stud or whatever. I'm going to try to eat with a fork now because... It's just, this is what I'm used to. I'm going to tell y'all a story because this don't look appealing. This don't look appealing to me. And it might be too loud because this mic I have on. We're about to find out. All right. Stephanie told y'all a story about when she used to be a stud.
I'm gonna tell you a story when I used to date a stud. Or studs. That's burnt. So when I first started dating, got on the party line. That's when I met my first woman. She was femme. I didn't know a lot about her, but I wasn't trying to get with her. Met another female. She was kind of boyish. But she wore, you know, bra and panties and I don't mean she called herself a stud, but I didn't know what a stud was at the time. Mm. Only thing that was stud about her was the way she dressed. And this is back when I was 17, y'all, so it was a while ago. Um, hold on. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie, this video all over the damn place. I don't even know what to call it. ASMR fail, mukbang fail, story time fail, because I ain't getting shit out. Alright, so. I meet a stud. That's the first person I met. She became my girlfriend. That was the first person that I, you know, did something with. Because um, she was the first person. I was just like, I'm ready, you know? So it is what it is, right? I go through, I get with this feminine girl. She ends up being bi. And I'm still 17 at this time. So I assume that all feminine girls are bi. Excuse me, because I didn't know a lot of uh, lesbians or any, to be honest. Even the girl I had met, the feminine lady that I had met that I didn't want to date, she was bi. So after I break up with the bi girl, because she wouldn't leave her boyfriend. That's why I broke up with her. Not for you know any other reason. It's just that she wouldn't leave him. And she said she would. Um, after I broke up with her. I decided that. And assumed that. Only studs were lesbians. Because. Like I said. I didn't know people. So I assumed that that's what it was. I knew that. I was boyish and I was lesbian or I assumed I was lesbian at the time because I wasn't mm -mm. I'm a bad storyteller too so anyway I get with the stud soft stud whatever you want to call her and I'm dating her for I dated her for two years the whole time 
it was just like a a bisexual woman that's with a man but only dating the man the whole time i'm looking at feminine women we used to get into arguments a lot because when we would go out i would be staring at the feminine girls because that's what i wanted um i didn't understand what was going on with me or why it was like that but i knew that i wanted them and i didn't i liked my girlfriend you know she wasn't super she wasn't really studdish but i wanted her to dress like you know i wanted her to wear dresses and stuff and she didn't wear that only she only dressed like that on occasion because i wanted her to So I'm dating her, cheated on her, I ain't gonna lie, cheated on her a couple times with a feminine woman. I didn't actually like go all the way, but you know, messed around with some feminine girls. And then when I left her, I got with another femme, she was bi. I'm still young at this time, 19. I get with another film after this one. This one only lasted like two months. I got with another film. Now, mind you, the, the one that I got with after my little stud girlfriend, she was, um, she, she, she cheated on me with a guy. Um, then I get with this other female film. She uh, tells me that after a few months of dating, she tells me that she wants to date well, she wasn't a citizen. She wasn't. So she wanted, she said she wanted to date a guy because she needed her green card or she needed her citizenship, whatever. But again, it was a guy. So I'm like, okay. I think I'm still 19 at the time. I'm like, okay, this ain't, something ain't right. I keep trying to date these feminine women that I like and I want to be with, but they all like men. I guess I'm going to have to be with a stud. And I'm like here in between because I got girls telling me to dress this way and dress that way. So I'm here just doing whatever, y'all. I was just getting by. Okay. I get what. After that relationship, I meet a stud. Yeah. 19. Mm, at this time, I'm 20. I meet this soft stud. Um, she approached me or whatever. At the time, I dressed kind of soft, studdish kind of as well. So, we start talking. I liked her conversation. I wasn't attracted to her at all. But she was cool. We got along. You know, she was a lot older and she taught me a lot. So, I ended up just getting with her, y'all. She's a stud. That's who I had Elijah with. Um, now, when I met her, she didn't seem very studdish. Super studdish, I mean. She had her hair in a feminine hairstyle. And she wore women's clothes. She just wore them a little baggy. Or just not tight. As time went on, she started dressing more and more like a man. You know, or... She started wearing men's clothes, men's underwear, sports bras. She wasn't doing that before. Um, I started getting even less attracted to her. And I be I was starting to become myself because as I when I was with her, you know, I was still young and I still had I was still impressionable. I still wasn't sure about do am I, do I have to be a stud or a femme? Do I have to choose this and that? So she kind of chose for me. She was like, you need to, you should wear this because you look good in it. And a lot of other people was telling me too. So I was like, all right, fine. I started wearing all these girl clothes. You know, everybody was like, oh, you look good. You look good. A lot of people tried to talk to me. Like when I was dressing feminine, a lot of studs. I mean, I had a, a million not a million, but y'all the same way feminine women do. I just had a bunch of like, I don't, don't nobody try to talk to me now. Thank God. When I dress like a girl, I'm talking about just a whole bunch of studs in the club. A whole bunch of men used to try to talk to me. And I was very uncomfortable, very unhappy. I was like, why are all these studs? Why can't I get a feminine woman? So I s would seek out women who I knew, 
you know, wanted to like be with me knowing that I had a girlfriend, feminine women, because I didn't know what else. I wanted a feminine woman. So in that relationship, unfortunately, I cheated with feminine women again. Um, I did that for, you know, a big part of my relationship after like the first two years, not before that, but after about two years and she started getting more manly and so did I. I remember I used to leave the house and she would be like, why are you wearing that? You know, she would be mad. I'll buy little stuff, you know, so I'll be femme in the house and like around people. But I didn't act any different. But when I would go to the club, I would kind of like Stephanie when she was a fake stud for a year, you know, so I would wear something, you know, that I wanted to wear. I didn't have a lot of that, but I would wear it and she would just be tripping on me, mad about it. And like I said, I cheated with a bunch of women. I mean, a few, a couple. Not a bunch. It was like three during the relationship. Um, and let me tell y'all something. When I say cheat, I don't mean sleeping with. Because I only did that with one of them. I just mean messing around. That's cheating to me. When you talking to somebody and you giving somebody your time and you touching them or whatever, that's cheating. Um, so I'm with... You know, this person I had Elijah with, the stud, for five years. And finally, I just, one day, I had, I had my whole stud outfit on, like the whole thing. Normally, I wouldn't do all the way before I went out. But this time, I just put on the whole thing and just would completely, and then completely, I even acted more like a stud than I ever had, like normally. I was getting ready to go out. She was like, where the hell are you going? Look at you like a whole ass nigga. And I just got up in her face and I was like, nigga, I, we just, we, it was just like two best friends, you know, two studs, two peas in the pod, whatever the hell. And we almost got into a fight that day. I had to leave cause it just, it was, it was nothing. I had to go. I had to, that wasn't like the straw that broke the camel's back, but it was soon after that that I left because it was too much. It was like, mm, one day she's going to tell me. Because she knew how, you know, I was transitioning. She was like, she started to try to make me do feminine things because that wasn't things I hadn't even done before. She was trying to make me do because she knew, she saw what I was turning into, which was myself. Mm. So I was just like, no, I got to go. Soon as I left. Not as soon as I left, but very soon afterwards. I mean, I needed to get a little bit of money to change my whole wardrobe. I threw all them clothes away. Well, most of them, because you know what was funny? I had to, I transitioned into like my grandmother getting them comfortable. Even when I went from wearing boy clothes to wearing girl clothes, it was kind of uncomfortable for me to even go that way and then to go back. So it was kind of like I had to ease them in. I didn't have to, but that's what I did. And it's weird because I've always been open about my sexuality. Always. I struggled with the feminine stud thing. That's where I struggled. Like my, that was my identity. Like crisis, I guess. Mm. I know I was all over the place with this video, y'all. I don't even know what Stephanie's going to do. I don't even know what she's going to do with this. No, you're going to leave it all in. I'm about to get off. You're about to time. You see how I've waited the question? So, um, I'm about to go, y'all. Because I've done that too much. I hope y'all like the three minutes of ASMR y'all got. And I'll see y'all next time. Only good vibes. Peace.